Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're going to look into Adobe Firefly. So for those of you who are not aware of this, this is the latest tool from Adobe, which is 100% AI based. So basically it's gonna let you create a lot of cool stuff just using AI prompts. So things like photo manipulations or video editing or even 3D modeling or 3D edit can also be achieved in this tool. So Adobe Firefly is still not available for the mass user yet because it's still in development process. Um, so I have to sign up for a waitlist to get access to the beta version. So I finally got the email today to uh, try it for the first time. So let's get into it. Alright, so here we are in the Adobe Firefly homepage. Uh, so let's see what we got here. Down here we have a bunch of tool for you to uh, generate image using text. And you can also apply um, style to a particular typeface using prompt. And you can also change colors of a existing vector based artwork to a different color palette. And down here we have something like the uh, inspiration section. So I guess this is where all of the work of the community uh, being posted here. And down here we have this exploration. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. Uh, it's look like just a video to introduce all of the features. Uh, and down here, it look like more tools, but for some reason, I cannot click into it. Um, so I guess these are still in development. But judging from the descriptions uh, of these tools, it sound like pretty amazing tool. You can do things like photo manipulations, uh, extend an image, or 3D modeling, or even generate vector using text prompt. So all of these tools sound pretty cool. Uh, so I hope these are so I hope these will be available soon, so I can try it. But for now, let's uh, go back up and uh, try these three tools uh, to see how it's, uh, it's going to work. So let's try the first one. Um, so this one we just use text to generate image, just like what we can do on Midjourney, but see how it can be different. Um, so I think we can type the, the prompt here. So let me just type a, a um, yellow car facing toward the camera. Uh, realistic desert. Um, it's just something generated. Um, just to see how it's gonna uh, turn out. So give it a few seconds to uh, generate. So, so here we have like it's looking like overall it's looking pretty good. Like the colors and the um, you know the overall tone is really good. But the detail is a little bit um, not not too much detail in here. And on the right panel here, so we have like some uh, settings, some option here to um, play around with. So currently, it will give you this art output. So I'm going to change it to a photo to see how it's going to be different. And down here, we can like select a lot of different styles. So yeah, I think it's similar, but uh, it's not too much different. But I can see um, some some more detail is starting to. Um, to show up here. So let's play around with these. So we have color tone, uh, vibrant, lighting, uh, maybe, maybe golden hours, and compositions is uh, Y angles. And here we can even select the, the ratio. So let's go to uh, widescreen. And finally, um, select uh, style of movements. You see, just, just want to try how it's going to work. So it will automatically update this, the scene. So yeah, I think some of these could be good. It will we, we, we put more the detail into the prompt, but overall the colors, the composition, everything. And I really loved how we can just play around with these um, settings um, to quickly change the 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 the, out, the output, um, you know, the results into the way that we want it. All right, so enough with this. Let's go back and try the second tool. So let's select this text effect tool. It's look interesting. So we got the text uh, here. So I guess that we can type um, the text and then describe what it's gonna be, which is sound pretty interesting. So I'm going to uh, uh, type in uh, maybe M 
because it's my name and I need it to be um, orange dark fur uh, let's just give it a try you know so, and then here we can just like um, select the font which is pretty cool I don't know if we can upload some fonts uh, because some of these are not really good um, yeah it is it's all right maybe I need to change it to something else like a 3d rock surface uh, I don't know Uh, so yeah this is looking much better like um, the details and everything but the font is is not so great so let me see if we got all the font here so I would assume that they have all the Adobe font but it's not um, so let's try with something a little bit longer so uh, let's try hello and uh, using this phone and it's gonna cover in um, 3D. Uh, oh, now it's it's not it, it's just automatically regenerated with the the previous prompt, which is pretty cool. Like um, I think I, I can see that this is will become really handy for people who doing big titles. Um, you know, with 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 all these effects. So you know, I imagine you could save you a lot of time doing this. Uh, so this is this is actually pretty cool. Like it's actually pretty cool. So let's go back and then try the third tool. So vector razor. So we need to upload a SVG for this to work. So I'm not sure what it's gonna do. Um, so let me just 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 uh, rest some random SVG. Oh, sorry. We got a picture of a guy who's riding a bicycle. Describe the color palette you want to generate. Ooh, pastel. Uh, just like that. Oh, nice. Yeah, so it automatically generates some color palette for you to choose, uh, which is also a very uh, handy tool for you to do create like give multiple exploration in a very short amount of time. All right, so this is also cool. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do next is to demonstrate uh, how fast we can put together a visual or design using all of the assets generated from this tool. So uh, I have this uh, background here generated from uh, the image uh, generators and I'm going to put this image into Photoshop and make it fill up the screen like this and let's get rid of the watermark for now. Uh, I hope it's fine because this is not commercial use so uh, just for demonstration purposes so let's save this and then we have a clean background like this so i'm going to add a text png that i've just generated and cut out the watermark and then let's give this background a blur effect so let's do got some blurs and for the text layer i'm going to make it a little bit smaller and we're going to apply a layer style for this text so I'm going to use inner shadows to create a kind of a rim light um, on the edge of the text so let's select a cooler colors uh, like this and I'm going to increase the distance as well as the uh, direction a little bit uh, feel free to explore whatever style you want um, and then let's duplicate it into the second layer because I wanted to um, Kind of boost the intensity even more cool so now it's looking like this so i'm going to select a gradient to create a shadows and it started uh, to fit the perspective boom there you go a very cool visual generated by all ai's sets uh, in just less than one minute so i think this is going to be a very handy tool for designer to be faster to be more productive uh, in their design process so this is the end of my video today so i hope you find it helpful and i will see you in the next one all right